hello guys welcome once again and today in this video tutorial i will be showing you how to update or delete a row from a database so let's get started so what we have to do is just take a label or you can take button also i am using here label and just rename it to zero and i am setting an icon for updation so just good properties icon and external image source and just select this image wherever you have saved your images just select the image whichever image like i'm taking this image and just press ok button and just drag it here like this and again take a label and just rename it to null and again go to properties icon and just select the image for delete and here we will be doing coding for that so just right click the label and just go to the event mouse and mouse click you can see here just go here you will see a source window appearing here and here we will be doing code so just right try catch make a try catch block here write the code exception e and here we will be writing code code is just enter the query here update table name is EMP and table name is EMP update EMP and just write here set like I want to change the name just set just update EMP just write here set name equals to question mark comma just right here last name equals to question mark and I have done a mistake here we have to write the table name whatever the column name is like here emp underscore name emp last so we will be writing that emp underscore name emp underscore last and here i will be writing department so what's the column name here it is column name is emp underscore dev equals to question mark so and here we will be writing where emp underscore id here it is no underscore so equals to here write just plus plus and 
ये जो साइड जे 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 टेक्स्ट फील वन डॉट गेट टेक्स्ट here i am writing this because wherever whatever the employee id is in this text field there in that row the updation will be done so just write here pst equals to con dot prepare statement and just write here pst dot set string number 1 and here we will be writing the path of that text field direction to dot get text again we will be writing this so just write here 2 and just write here 3 and the second name and the last name is stored in i think get text will be so just write here get text will be 3 and department field this get text will be 4 So just write here the text field four, and in the next line just write p s t dot execute update. And just write here a code for showing your text message that the data has been updated or row has been updated so just write here dot show message dialog and just write here null and just write here up dated successfully updated and this in this just write j option in dot show message dialog and just write here null and p e. so let's see whether it's saving or not let's run a program press on this upgrade button it should be updated updated so it has been successfully updated but it is not showing here because we have not called that method so when we run a program again then the updated data will be shown you can see here abc block so what you have to do is just again go to event mouse mouse click and just after this just write that fetch method
so not done so now we will be doing coding for delete button now just again right click the delete button and again go to event mouse and mouse click and just copy the code full code and here we will be writing delete from emp where employee id is so and here just remove this and just write here PHP dot execute and here just write delete it. Now let's run a program. Now suppose I want to delete this fourth one. When I click delete, it should be deleted. You can see it is successfully deleted and I want that when I press when it is successfully updated so all the test fields should be cleared automatically so just copy the code which I have shown you in the previous video like I am copying it that here and just paste it here and after in this delete also just paste that code here so all the text will be cleared and just select this both this label and just go to the properties and change the cursor you can change the cursor from here just save and just press and just click on hand cursor and just press ok and now run, let's run our program so whenever you, your mouse will focus on here the hand cursor will appear you can see see like i want to edit this employee name is ba baby and when i press sorry and when I write here baby and update this button it should be updated it is updated and all the test field has been cleared so in this way you can make your program much easier so that's all for today please rate comment and subscribe for more videos and if you have any query drop your comments below the video and please must subscribe i am helping you so much and bye for now